I'm going to show you how to make a little coin envelope so I have ripped out a book page here pretty simple it's just ripping the one out there we go and then I'm going to just trim that end off let's just pop that underneath there Then we will take one edge and we will fold it just past the centre, like so. Push that down, and then we will fold this one so it's just overlapping that piece. There we go, that's good. This is so simple, but they look really, really good in your journals. So we'll hem that little bit on the bottom and then we'll guess we'll have a flap about that long, I think. Again, with these, they can be made in any shape. It all depends on your preference. So what we want to do now is where we folded, so it's folded like that, remember, open it up and then we've got squares at the bottom here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come on the inside of that line just ever so slightly and just cut up to that first crease and then we do it reversed on the other side again just ever so slightly past that line and then we're going to do it a bit sharper on this one and put that off there again a bit sharper you don't have to be specific I think this is why I like it. I hate measuring. And then this one, we will take it ever so slightly on there. And again on the other side, down to that crease. And then we can take this one a bit sharper. Basically, we're getting rid of those squares that we created when we were doing the folds. There we go, and then you'll be left with something like this, which is where our folds were. Get rid of the rubbish. Now what I like to do now is go round all those bits with my ink stain. The one I'm using here is ground espresso. Now anyone who doesn't know, these are called ink blenders, because it took me a long time to find out what these were called when I first started. I've just celebrated my first year since I did my first journal page. I remember looking at people that were making journals and things, things and thinking, oh, I'd never do that. But it's so fun and addictive. You just want to learn more and more all the time. Okay, you don't need to be specific. Most of my things I'll start with a simple A4 piece of card and see where I end up. Quite a lot of things I actually make for the first time on film. It's just always exciting because you never know if it's going to work out or not. <laughs> it's a bit of time getting all this blending done. I think we're about there, are we? Uh, we'll blend on the end of that one because this will be the outside one. Like I say, you can use card for these. You could even use um, your normal paper if you wanted to. Right, so we, now we've got that all done, we're going to take a bead of glue and we're going to run it right along the edge of here. And fold that over. Let's 
that down. And then we'll pop a little bit around the edges here. Fold that up. Too much glue on that one. And then that's it. There's your pocket. Now you can put all kinds of pretty things on there. Let's see what we've got to hand. We'll put um we'll put that stamp on. Put one of these on. Well, let me just stain those edges up as well. I say the decorating is all personal preference. That one in there. Let's do her edges as well. And she's almost almost done. She doesn't want to separate, does she? There we go, we've got a we could stick a little word on top of there or something. What have we got in here? Um Cut some more of these, I think. I'm running out. Let's uh, that one. Dedication, I think. Pretty much because that's the only one that I've got that works. Fits. Glue on there. Stick that on and there we go, it's our little coin purse, or they're called coin purses but they're nice to put longer pieces, let me just chop those ends off. Um, Hold your words in there, and that looks nice tucked, in, tucked into your pocket and things. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you again soon.